An engineer is a person that solves problems. And a chemical engineer is somebody who knows enough mechanics to confuse a chemist, enough chemistry to confuse a mechanic, and enough math to confuse himself. <laughs> People come to us with ideas, innovations, uh, new technology, and they want to scale it up. They want to take it from something that's a beaker size and make it bigger, and we do it in an economically viable way. We had a client come to us, and they wanted to attempt to make textiles out of stinging nettle, which is a weed. So we took the material that they sent us and we put it through our small scale processing system, uh, pulped it, and then we put it through an extruder to extrude it into a fiber. And that fiber can be woven into textiles. The fibers that they're making with stinging nettle now are rayon-like fibers, which come from renewable feedstocks versus polyester, which are petroleum-based. So taking a renewable feedstock and offsetting a petroleum-based feedstock is better for the environment. So waste can actually be valuable mm -hmm. instead of being detrimental to the environment. There is no such thing as waste. Whenever you're taking something and you're making something else, you're going to be doing an impact to the environment. You just want to make sure you minimize that wherever possible. And it's the responsibility really of chemical engineers to make sure that that impact is minimized. I think at one point engineering actually used to be something that you became. Right now I think engineering is a lot more evolved into uh, a skill set or a way of thinking that allows who you are to actually benefit uh, the world by solving problems, by doing interesting things. Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Wade. And we're chemical engineers. 